Roshin Ketin Prime, thank you for staying with us. Of course, you're getting reactions from all over on this latest attack that happened in Mandera, shocking not just the country but the entire world as well. Let's now bring in Mohamed Ali Nour, he's so Somali's ambassador to Kenya. Ambassador, thank you so much for joining us on KTN Prime. Uh, and, and I'll begin by just asking you, what, what are your thoughts on the latest massacre that happened in Mandera? Ambassador, can you hear me? Hello? All right, we have uh, the Somali's ambassador to Kenya, Mohamed Ali Nur. He's in our city centre studio. Ambassador, thank you for joining us on KTN Prime. I'll begin by asking you, what are your thoughts on the latest attack, the latest massacre that we have witnessed in Mandera? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, on behalf of the federal government of Somalia, uh, our condolences uh, and thoughts go to the families who lost their lives uh, today, uh, early this morning in Mandera. Uh, we strongly condemn these uh, heinous uh, murderous attacks on the innocent Kenyans that were called, killed this morning. And uh, we really condemn them and, uh, and we are sorry for what happened to them. Um, Kenya and Somalia are neighbor, two neighbor countries and uh, Somalia really were in debt for Kenya for uh, having KDA forces being part of Amazon forces who are helping Somali National Army defeat Shabab, who have helped us, and, uh, and, and we believe and, uh, that we are in this thing together to defeat Shabab uh, from Somalia and from Kenya and from the neighbor countries, and we believe and we uh, hope that uh, we will defeat them. Mr. Ambassador, this is the concern, though you reiterated clearly the relationship that Somalia and Kenya has. But we, Al, Al Shabaab basically crosses from Somalia into Kenya, and this latest massacre, of course, was no different. Are we seeing a scenario where Al Shabaab is now out of control? This is not the first attack they're carrying out in Kenya. Um, Shabaab, lately, um, they have been defeated uh, in Somalia uh, by the Somali National Army with the help of Amsom uh, troops, including KDF. Uh, that's why we believe now they are on the run. That's why they come in at the border. But uh, having said that, the Somali uh, school agencies uh, are helping and working closely with Kenyan school agencies. And uh, we believe that these are the last kicks. Uh, uh, and, and again, I want to say that uh, wholeheartedly, we really condemn and, 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 and condemn for these acts that happened today. Uh, and the other day also the killing of innocent people. This is not Islamic way. This is not a religious thing to do it. Islam doesn't preach killing of innocent people. Mm -hmm. uh, Islam is for peace. So we want to, I really I want to assure and say that now that this is and was an act of terrorists. Indeed, this is not a religious war, just reiterating what President Uhuru Kenyatta said in his address to the nation. Ambassador, however, there is concern. Um, Somali has been unstable for quite a while, and the question that is on the minds of so many Kenyans is that how long will this take before Somali becomes stable, before everyone can leave you on your own and say, you're okay to go on your own? I'm very optimistic. Uh, I just came back from uh, Mogadishu uh, two days ago. Uh, Somalia is... Um, on uh, the brink and we are really a very optimistic peace is ar along the way and as I said, said earlier uh, these terrorist groups uh, are our common, common enemy and we are very happy and we are in debt to Kenya and other Amazon uh, countries, contributing countries who are helping us defeat and uh, I believe that soon uh, these uh, terrorist groups will be defeated. Ambassador, thank you so much. Mohamed Ali Noor, Somali's ambassador to Kenya, speaking to us from our city center studio. Thank you so much for giving us your insight on the latest attack that we have witnessed in Mandera. There are so many Kenyans really grieving and the nation in shock. Part of the people who are grieving are in Nyeri, Ben.